hi everyone welcome to keto blogging and in this video i will show you how you can add a double click to copy to clipboard functionality to your blogger website so as you can see that when you add a long code snippet to your website then it is difficult to highlight the text and then copy to clipboard so you can simply double click on it and copy to your clipboard now you can use this code anywhere else so let me paste it here as you can see that the code is copied to my clipboard so let me overwrite it here so let me copy it again like this so it will overwrite my clipboard now let me double click here again and it will copy the content to my clipboard now i can paste it like this so this is how the copy to clipboard functionality works so let's check how you can implement this type of copy to clipboard functionality to your blogger website and if you found this video helpful then make sure to hit the like button and if you are new to this channel consider subscribing so let's get started so all right now let's check how you can add this to your blogger website so for this you need to go to your theme code here and then you have to take a backup of your theme code so if you are doing it in your live site taking a backup will ensure that if you do any mistake then you can easily restore it to the previous state so let me click on edit html here and here you need to scroll down all the way to the bottom so here let me scroll down here and here you need to search for the closing body tag so it is generally the last two lines so you can see that last is the closing html tag and above that there is the closing body tag so you need to paste a code just above it so let me copy the code here so i will provide this code in the description so you can copy the code from there so let me copy this to my clipboard and let me paste it here like this that's it now let's click on save here and let's add a code box to our blog post and check how you can implement this copy to clipboard functionality in blogger so let me just go back here and then let me just go to the blog post here now let's add a code box to our blog post so i will click on new post here and i can name the title like copy to clipboard and let's add the code box so i will add the pre tag here and then i will add the code tag here and then i will close the code tag here and then i will close the pre tag here so i have added the code box here now let's add a code uh, inside the code tag so let me copy some code from here so you can use your own html css or javascript code so for this purpose let me use this script inside the code box so let me just copy it and let me paste it but before that we need to parse this script because if you are using it in your code box then you have to parse the html css or javascript before adding to the code box so for this what i can do is i can simply search for html parse tool for blogger like this and you will see our website techilib so just click on here free html parse tool so we need to paste that script here so you have to use your own code here let's click on parse and it will parse the html code now let's copy it and let's paste it inside the code box here as you can see that we have added the code box now let me just publish this post and let me open this blog post and as you can see that we have added a code box like this so when i double click on it it is not copying to my clipboard that's because we need to assign the class inside the code box so for this i will click on here and here i have to assign a class here so i will add a class like class equal to and in double quote you have to assign a class here so let me just see this is the class copyable code so you need to use this class here copyable code so you can change this class if you want so let me add this class copyable code and let me close the double quote so as you can see that we have added the class here copyable code inside the code box now let me just update it now let me just refresh this page as you can see that the page is refreshed now let me double click on it and as you can see that the code is now copied to our clipboard 
so let me test it so i will paste it here now let me overwrite it from here so i will copy it so it will overwrite my clipboard then i i will again go to the blog post and double click on it and let's check it and you can see that it is copying the content inside the code box so what if you want to add multiple code box in the same page so you can also do the same process you have to add the class to all of your code box where you want this functionality so what i can do is i will duplicate it here like this and let me delete something from here like this and let me update it so make sure to add the class to all of your code box class equal to copyable code like this so let me just refresh this page and here you can see that this is our second code box so let me copy the first code box first and then i will paste it here and then i will go to the website and double click on it and i will paste it here like this so this is how you can add multiple code box and the copy to clipboard functionality will still work like this so it is a very easy way to add a code box like this and you can also add a text inside the code box to show if it is double click to copy to clipboard functionality is added in the code box or not so for this i can do one thing i will right click on it and i will click on inspect now i will find the code here and i will expand it here let's click on before and let's check the content here so let me edit the content here so i will type like double click to copy like this let's hit enter and i will close it here and as you can see that the text is shown here double click to copy so user will know that he can double click and copy all the code like this and it will also show a notice like this so this is how you can add a copy to clipboard functionality to your code box so if you have any doubt regarding this then you can ask me in the comment section and if you found this video helpful make sure to hit the like button and i will see you in the next one bye bye